Hey guys, we're going to do lesson check 11.3, so let's do it. Jessica made a model uh, pyramid out of clay. What is the volume? Okay, so the volume of anything in the universe is that area of the base times the height, but divide by three if it's pointy, if it's this shape, uh, shape is getting smaller. So the base is a rectangle, so 6.3 times 2.4. And um, the height is this 3.6. And we're going to divide by 3, and we get 18144 millimeters cubed. So you're like, oh, okay, that was one of our choices. So that's probably the last one that's straightforward. The rest of these have a little bit of a twist. Uh, let's keep going, though. The second question says, Jeremy's given the choice between these two chocolates. Which one should he pick? because uh, he wants the larger one. So this first one, image X, or figure X, could be the volume of anything in the universe is the area of the base times the height, divide by three, because it's the same shape stacking up to a point, right? So the base, five by six, times the height, 10, divide by three, gives us, wait a minute, Calculator's not turning on. Let me grab another calculator. So that's 30 times 10 divided by 3. Um, 100 centimeters cubed. All right, now let's do this triangle. So this is a triangular pyramid. This is a square or actually a rectangular pyramid. So this is the same, the area of the base times the height divided by three. So the base though is a triangle, so one half, the base, 7.5, times the height, eight, times however high we stack it, 10, and then we're gonna divide by three. So this would cancel to four, or you could put that in the calculator too, it was 0.5, either way, 7.5, times four times 10, I get 300 divided by three, which is 100 centimeters cubed. So same thing, right? So it doesn't matter these volumes are equivalent. They look different, but it looks like this triangle at the bottom is quite a bit bigger than this rectangle. And then somehow the different, slightly different shape, both shapes still equal 100 centimeters squared. Cubed, excuse me. Hmm, next one. It says, how many glasses like this one can be filled three quarters full holding a, um, from a pitcher of, so we already know there's a pitcher over here that has 150 cubic inches of water in it. Okay. So we're trying to figure out how many of these little cups we can fill up. Assuming we can't, we can't fill them to the top, we have to fill them three quarters of the way full. So this oval, they're saying three quarters of the way full. Um, so three quarters of four would be still three inches. So we would be able to fill it up three inches high. Now my challenge here is, that doesn't tell me the radius of this new smaller cone where my water is sitting. So here's my water, which is cone-shaped. So I have to think this through with actually similar triangles. We haven't done similar triangles in a really long time. So if we think about this, my larger cone has a radius of two because all the way across is four, and it has a height, the whole glass has a height of four. And then if I think of my smaller one, we, we have a, three is the height, and we're looking for this as our radius. So we could call that X or we could call that R, it doesn't matter. But so these are similar triangles because we know the surface of the water, whether it's all the way full or three quarters of the way full, that would be parallel because of gravity. And these angles would be the same. Notice they, they share that angle at the end. So the red triangle is a baby version of the mom, which is purple triangle. And so we can set these up. So the red one, we can set up uh, least to greatest. The small side and the medium side is three. And then the mom, the small side two, the medium side four. 
and we can cross multiply to solve. So our radius ends up being equal to six divided by four, which is one half. Now this also makes sense to us that um, it's like the height is four and the radius is half of that too. If the height was three, the radius is half of that 1.5. Half of three is 1.5. So those are proportional. Now we're ready. Okay, so we can find the, uh, the volume of this cone now that we know that the radius is one and a half. So the volume is pi times the radius squared times h divided by three because it's a cone, right? It's pointy. And our radius is one and a half and one and a half and our height is three. And we divide by three. So times pi, we end up getting a volume of one cup of glass that's filled three quarters full to be about that. Okay. Now we want to know how many of those do we get? So we do 150 divided by that number. Oh, and I wanted to use 3.14 like they asked. Okay, so squared divided by Seven point oh six five. If I use, they said, don't use the pi button. Use that. So, seven point oh six five. Okay. So, how many times would one fifty go into seven point oh six five? I get twenty one point two three. So, I can only fill up twenty one glasses. 